Good afternoon, friends. Is your history an asset or a liability? You'll probably be surprised by my answer. As some of you know, this week we're going to be discussing how to believe in yourself. This is a topic that's very much needed in our world today. There are, are so many people that are suffering because they have bought into many of the lies that, that we're told growing up. Lies like, don't get your hopes up. Or, you better do good in school and get good grades or you won't make it in this world. There are more, but I want to save some of those for later this week and our discussions in, uh, on the rest of the days this week. But, is your history an asset or a liability? And I have to answer, yes. Your history can be an asset if you learn from it, you look at it from the right perspective and you yearn to understand what things, uh, what made some things work and what made others fail. It's kind of like a scientific approach, you know, if, if you have that mindset is, you know, as you live, you can analyze what you did every day. And that's what I do. At, at the beginning of the day, I set I set an intention for the day. At the end of the day, I go back and I, I look at how did I do. And, and I make notes. I write it in my, in my journal. And I think it's important to do that because you can grow and you can track what you've, what you've done and what you can do. But you use what you did to improve. What went well, you, you learn from that. And improve on it. And what failed, you leave those mistakes in the past. Our history can be an asset, but <clears throat> when you learn from your mistakes and from your successes. But on the other hand, if you dwell on the mistakes or you dwell on the successes of the past without learning from them, your history is a liability. You see, many people hang their hats on all the things that they did in the past and think that those successes or failures frame the future and nothing could be further from the truth. There have been many songs, books, and poems written to express the truth that everything changes. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Think about it. In December of 2019, we were all looking forward to the promise of a new year. And, and we were looking forward to how 2020 would, would be our year. And I would venture to say that what we got is nothing like what we expected. We've learned to be flexible in how and what we do. And the truth is, is that things will change again. I'm relatively sure that it won't be what we expected. There are things in our past that we can use to help us, but it won't be like that again for a while. When we look to the past to help boost our belief in ourselves, we shouldn't look at those things that knocked us down, but rather remember the feeling when you got back up. Remember that feeling of overcoming the, the failure the falling. Remember that you've made it successfully to this moment in time and that you can persevere and endure and continue to do so until God calls you home. You can make it now because you've made it before. Your history does not determine your future. Although you can learn and you should learn from it, your will and your ability to be flexible, your ability to take what appears to be a negative and make it work for you rather than against you, that will determine how high or low you fly in the future. You see, your history can be an asset or it can be a liability, depending on how you use it. Now, I hope this short message has been helpful and that you smash the like bu button and share it with your friends. Tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I'll be talking about how to engage your brain to be more 
helpful in believing in yourself. I hope to see you then. I love you all. Have a great evening. Mike out.